Asami says. Asami just stand there, staring at Earth with a mocking grin. Okay, here is Hisa. Hisa and I take a step forward, but the moment we do, Asami leaves and we go higher. Okay. She cries out in pain. You better be careful. I can't be held responsible for what happened to this girl if you're trying tugging her away. Well, you know I cannot forgive you, Asami. <laughs> she might pull a moustache. I don't understand what that means. Or worse. The looks in Asami's eyes can only be described as sadistic. She's enjoying this. Okay, you think that you can get away with something like this, Asami? I says. She cackles at me. I do. And as the new kid, you are an idiot to think you know you would know any better. Isa glanced worried in my direction. How about? Just then Asami's phone start to ring, and she raised an index finger my way to hush me. I freeze completely shocked by her sheer audacity. With her hands free, Asami pulls out her handphone, I mean her phone, and answer it in the same sweet tone she used when we first met. Hi daddy. Ha, huh, oh, nothing. Just hang out with some friends. <laughs> She's lying through her teeth. She flashes me a wicked grin. For sure I'll be there. As soon as she hangs up, that bright and cheery expression drops back into one of disgust. She let go of Emiko's arm and starts to walk out. We walks off without a word. Uh, check on Emiko, definitely. She's leaving just like that? I shake my head. Whatever, I don't really care. I decide to leave Asami for now and go to check on Emiko. Hisa seems to have the same idea and walk next to me. Nice job back there. By the way, my name is Hisa. Alright, it's nice to formally meet you. Though I'm sorry it was under these circumstances. To be honest, um, her outfit and the hairs and all this is pretty good. Pretty good. She gives me a half-hearted chuckle. Not at all. It's nice to meet you too, I'm Mike. With that, we turn our attention to Emiko, who's sitting on her knees and gently rubbing her arms. Hey there, Emiko. Okay, first and foremost, I have to say sorry for <laughs> assuming that Emiko is the bully here. Okay, are you okay? Emiko suddenly glanced between us and rubs her eye, trying to hide her tears. I'm fine. Thank you. She doesn't sound fine. Okay, it's the bystander. With the action over, most of the students starts to file out of the court. I'm sorry, we couldn't get her sooner, but I'm glad she didn't hurt you too badly. We are lucky the new kid stepped in when he did. She gives me a playful wink. Alright, sure. I don't think Asami would have held off on hurting Emiko if you weren't here. Emiko gazed up at me. Mm, great start. <laughs> I think she's smiling, but it's difficult to tell. No, no, I was just backing you up. That's all. Don't be so modest. It takes a lot of courage to stand up to Asami. Hey, I'm just the new kid here. What do you expect me to do? Like, <laughs> I'm starting to think that might be true. Anyway, I'm sorry, but I can't stay. I'm super late for volleyball practice. No worries, you can go now. I'll take care of her. Yup, I smile reassuringly at Emiko and her cheeks turn red in response. Okay, great. That's very really nice of you, Mike. Come swing by the gym sometimes. Hisa gives us an energetic wave before she sprints off. Whoa, she's fast. Thank you again, Mike. You don't really know me. But you still step in. I give her a gentle smile. Sure, why not? <laughs> of course! I couldn't just stand by and do nothing, even if I wasn't much help. No, I really appreciate it. Come on, let's get you off the ground, huh? I'll offer my hand work. Emiko has his head briefly, but then she takes hold with surprising eagerness. Alright, next, I usher her to over to the nearby bench and we sit down together. She sniffs softly as she stares at the ground. I probably, I mean I should probably say something. Um, Daijobu, are you alright? <laughs> I frown and set a hand on her shoulder. Are you alright? Emiko nods weakly and wipes her tears from her eyes. I kind of get used to this at this point. It happens a lot with Asami actually. I half quietly. Well, it shouldn't. I will be your, you know, the protector or something like that. I can't believe people just let her get away with this. That's just how it is around. That's just how it is around here because 
who her family is. Okay, I think this will be the revelation where I know that the bully will be my partner. Okay, she comes from a powerful family, huh? It's easier to try and stay on her good side and hope you don't get end up being a target like me, like you. And goes not slowly, then starts to choke up. Okay, I'm not going to use the premium choice right now because <laughs> no, that's crazy. Twenty two gems. I only have thirty, and I might watch some advertisement for later, but not now. Give her some space. I want to convert her, but give, but given how little we know each other, yeah, that's the reason why I don't want to spend gems. Like I only know you for like a day. It's not so crazy of me to <laughs> spend twenty two gems right off the bat. I decide to keep my distance. Well, hey, at least we got rid of her this time, right? And if she tries that kind of things again, you let me know, okay? Emko smiles weakly at me. Okay, sure, thanks, Mike. I just don't get it. Why could Asami have against such a sweet girl like Emko? Yep, I was wondering the same thing. Anyway, you should probably get your wrist checked out by the nurse. No, it's not as bad as it looks. I frown. Are you sure? Yeah. I think I'd rather just go home and rest. If you're sure, but at least let me walk you to the entrance. Hamco offers a faint smile and nods. Okay, sure, why not? <laughs> After seeing Hamco off at the gate, I wander at the hall, looking for a teacher. I can't believe I have to deal with all kinds of this. Eventually, I bump into the same teacher that scolded me for running earlier. Oh my god. Excuse me? Yes? Are the staff aware that there was an incident in the courtyard about 10 minutes ago, teacher? What kind of incident? Oh, I see. The teacher is oblivious to this fact. A girl named Emiko was being bullied. Ah, who was responsible for the, this time? This time? What do you mean? I guess this is really common. The class president, Asami. The teacher's expression suddenly shifts upon hearing her name. I see. I see what I can do about this. Misunderstanding. <laughs> I see, I see. Misunderstanding? Asami was blatantly bully bullying Emiko in front of a bunch of students. And did you get involved? Yeah, I was the one protected her. <laughs> and this and then it sounds as though you should be held responsible as well. What the hell? No. You're crazy teacher. What? No, I was I sigh in frustration. Never mind. I walk away and the teacher seems to all too happy to let the topic drop. They didn't seem like they cared at all. Just what kind of power does Asami has have over these people? 